Hello from PCR TV studio at Euro PCR 2018. My name is Goran Stanković. I'm international cardiologist from Belgrade, Serbia. And I have pleasure to discuss today with Dr. Christoph Jensen from Essen, Germany, one of the most challenging lesion subsets in bifurcation field, osteal LAD lesion. Christoph, why it's so important? Um, hello, Goran. Thanks for, for asking this question. It's basically it's a bifurcation involving the left main. So this means uh, there are big vessels involved with a huge um, perfusion territory and if something goes wrong, uh, it can go terribly wrong. Does acuteness of disease make difference in your strategy? Is the same strategy that you use to treat acute and stable situation? Well, the, um, if it's an acute setting, um, the first thing that you want uh, is that the patient comes out of the ischemia. So you have to treat uh, fast and quick and safety. Um, so um, it, is, uh, it has to be an uh, approach that you're really familiar with. In general, there are two options. One is crossover, the other one is precise tenting. From your huge expertise, how would you recommend to approach that kind of lesions? Well, in my experience and, and looking at the data, the, uh, the osteal LAD lesion typically involves left main. Um, and the lesions or the angulation of the left, uh, left anterior descending um, that really permits a precise stenting of the left uh, anterior descending osteum are very seldom. So, um, um, you have to make sure that if you stand the LAD osteum alone, that you cover the lesions. Um, the crossing always cover the lesion and avoids the lesion miss. miss. Um, and especially when we look at the newer generation of drug eluting stents, it's a safe approach. Uh, it seems that imaging could help a lot to determine proper strategy, especially if we are trying to plan something precise. We need to exclude presence of disease in the left main. Do you recommend routine imaging, IVUS or OCT? Well, it always depends on the setting. If it's an acute setting, then as I told you before, it's uh, more getting the patient uh, safe from the table uh, and, um, and, um, uh, uh, and treat the ischemia. So in this setting, I typically do not do any imaging at all. Uh, I just uh, presume that the left main is involved. But if it's a stable situation, sure, this gives you time to look precisely at the angulation, look precisely at the plaque lesion distribution. And in case that there is no disease present inside the left main, how would you plan strategy of precise osteal LED stenting? Well, if you're, if you're sure that the left main is not diseased, um, then it depends on the angulation of the left anterior descending. And if the left anterior, uh, anterior descending is really 90 degrees after you wired it, uh, and um, you see in the IVORS, for example, OCT, that um, the lesion really uh, begins as an osteum, then it's a good chance to do one single stent just precise standing of the osteal LD. But this is really seldom the case. Most of the cases, it's actually disease extending from the osteum of the LAD into the left main. And then strategy is two wires, pre-dilatation, stenting crossover, proximal optimization. Uh, would you recommend uh, final kissing in that situation? Well, um, definitely. If I, even if I go for provisional stenting, so it means like one stand from the left main to the LAD, um, I would go for final kissing to open up the um, side branch. Um, and then um, I typically do the final pop, uh, pot, a uh, re-pot after the final kissing. For our colleagues who do not have possibility to do imaging, can we use Mare law and plan strategy and diameters according to Mare law and Fine? Yes, definitely. That's, that's an easy way to, um, to apply sizes, diameters of the stents. And you always have to keep in mind to what 
overexpansion, your kind of stand is uh, feasible and it's, it's, uh, it's practical. Is there any specific stand that you would like to recommend or it's just a group of stands based on open cell design? It's, uh, it's the, the group of stands of drug eluting stands. <laughs> drug eluting stands, newer generation. Yeah, definitely. So uh, if I can conclude, Osteal LAD is specific because it usually converts into left main stenting. We need to understand the rules of geometer, difference in diameters proximally and distally, inside the left main and inside the osteum LAD. You recommend crossover in order to work safely and cover the whole lesion and then just proximally optimize stent in the left main. Thank you very much, Christoph. Thank you, Goran. Thank you.